Today I'm going to be talking about this exciting new designer collaboration between Staud and New Balance. I was able to get my hands on this exciting new collection and it's been selling out really fast so I wanted to post this as soon as possible and give you my thoughts on whether or not this collection is worth it for you. Some signature pieces from their collection include this corset-like tank top or crop top bra like this. It's actually longer in the front and lower in the back to help give you the illusion of a slimmer weight. The fabric itself is actually very soft on the inside and is made of this thick material and because it's double layered you don't see anything showing through. The angling of the corset detailing and stitching is meant to help you look slimmer and it's all throughout the front and the back. It was a very unique touch and I love the fact that they bring in this high-end fashion into a leisure or active wear. The small fits me much better than the extra small. I felt like it was too tight around the chest area. So if you're planning to purchase either the crop top or the tank top, I suggest going up a size. If you're curious about my typical sizes, they're also in the description box down below for your reference. They have these lace-up ankle length tights. And what I've noticed is that the band here is a little bit thicker, which helps shape you a little bit in the waist. This is an extra small and I found it too tight on me. I would have sized it up to a small. The ties here fully untie, so if you do, for example, have a growing baby bump, you could probably accommodate it with this design. From my own personal aesthetic, I actually normally don't love having ties right at the front because I feel like it gives you a little bit of bulk and weight where you don't want to emphasize in the belly. I'm also just a little bit paranoid for some reason that a machine will get caught on it and I'll get dragged somewhere. So let me know if that's only just me or if you guys think the same way in the comments below. It has a logo stamp here on the back here that says New Balance X Stod. Very deep pocket here that you can fit your cell phone and keys and all your other miscellaneous items right in the back. I actually think that's really smart because when you put the pockets in the front sometimes, when you bend over, it might come out. This pouch is actually bigger than most tights that I've seen, so I really appreciate that extra space. While the band up here is actually very nice, thick, double-layered material, the actual leggings themselves are actually only one layer, and because they are so tight, you can see the underwear lines, which is not something you want to see in the gym. Oftentimes, I'm on the go, and I won't think about what underwear I'm wearing with leggings, so for me, this would not be something that I would purchase just because I wouldn't be paying attention to wearing seamless underwear, specifically with my gym pants. The detail I do appreciate is that the laces themselves are a pale yellow or cream color, which means you don't have to worry about super white laces yellowing over time it's already an off-white color the next up is a matching hooded jacket with these boxing shorts can be actually interchanged with most of the other items in this collection First, let me start with the hooded jacket. I think it's really adorable and very versatile. It comes in two colors. One is this beautiful light sage green color and then also comes in black. And this could be paired with almost any color I've found. It has two pockets in the front and it can be worn in so many different ways. It has a really nice white piping detail that gives it more of a sporty vibe. The sleeves themselves are elasticated at the wrists, which means you can roll them up and then wear them three quarter lengths without worrying about having them slip down. You can also pull on these ties right here to make it more of a crop top look, really fitted around the waist area, and it's still quite comfortable. It also has a hood that you can use in the event of rain and has the white piping also throughout the back. It's made of this polyester shiny material which contrasts nicely against the matte of the top. They have the logo stamp on the side of the sleeve. With this particular style, if you want to go for it, it should look a little bit more baggy. So I purchased this in extra small and it still fit perfectly with lots of room. So I suggest going with your regular size in this. Now this collection also has some running shoes available and I ordered it but it didn't come in on time and I wanted to get this collection review out to you as soon as possible so you can make your purchase decisions before everything sells out. Now if you want to see that review as well as any other collection reviews that I do in the future, please subscribe and turn on the notification. Now these boxing shorts that I purchased in an extra small are actually really comfortable. It fit me perfectly with lots of room with this thick elasticated waistband. So I suggest going with your regular size on this one. Logo now is at the front with this boxing short and then has two white stripes on the side with two pockets that you can put your hands in that are regular and then also one pocket in the back. I think what I would have done differently when designing these boxing shorts is added two small slits on the side and made the corners a little bit more rounded, mostly to give more shape to the legs. Otherwise, I felt like it looked a little bit boxy. Then again, 
it is called boxing shorts. I feel like especially when it's paired with the shorts and the hood is up, it has a very cool MMA style look. If you're getting value out of this video so far, please hit the like button down below so I know you enjoy these types of reviews. I'm currently wearing their crop top bra in black and it comes also in three other colors, which is a pink, green, and white. I have the pink one here, which I'll model for you later. What I love about the uniqueness in the design of their bras is that they actually have a corset like stitching around the front and throughout the sides. It also has nice thick cross straps in the back. I typically don't like it when the straps are too thick, so this is the perfect thickness for me. And this is from Lululemon, which I purchased seven to eight years ago, and it's still going strong. If I can still find the link to these leggings, I will include it in the description box. Next up is the pink crop top. It's double lined, so you can't see anything when you wear it. When I turn the crop bra top inside out, you can see there's a thick clear elastic band, so it keeps everything together. Corset detailing on the pink, I feel like shows up more than the black one that I'm wearing. Otherwise, everything else is the same as the black one. Biker shorts are very similar to the ankle length tights in green. I will admit this pastel pink is actually gorgeous. These biker shorts are actually really good length for you when you want to wear shorts, but you don't want to show too much. I've tried this when bending down, doing different exercises. Because this legging is only one layer, you can see your underwear through it. And I was wearing light gray underwear. It wasn't black underwear. And I'm all about buying clothes that make your life simpler, not more complicated. I don't suggest these shorts in either a pink or a white, or even the leggings in those colors. The favorite pieces have to be all the tops. So either the crop top, the corset tank top, or this really cute hooded jacket. So I'm still trying to decide before I return things, so I'd love to hear from you. What do you think looks best on me and what should I keep? I'd love to see you again in one of my videos.